Every organism on Earth depends on water for its life. Water is essential to life. We had previously assumed that water was already available on Earth when the earliest living things emerged. However, a startling new finding from a new study casts doubt on this very notion. According to study, asteroids might be where Earth's water first came from. Another asteroid is currently rushing towards Earth, according to NASA's warning. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Discovery Scene. In today's video, we will explain NASA's warning of an asteroid heading for Earth. So do you want to know more about this asteroid? Well, make sure to stay tuned to the end and subscribe to our channel whilst hitting the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload. Every six months, the Near Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or NEOWISE, a NASA satellite, makes one full round of the sun. According to NASA, the spacecraft collects photos as it travels, which are combined to create a sky map. Millions of celestial objects in space are depicted in these positions and brightnesses of the sky map. Additionally, NEOWISE assists in keeping a lookout for asteroids that could potentially hit Earth. A comparable asteroid is currently headed towards Earth, and NASA has issued an asteroid alert. The asteroid is also 1,608 feet wide, according to NASA. For reference, the famous landmark of the Empire State Building is 1,454 foot tall. It's interesting to note that the asteroid is also bigger than the Eiffel Tower. Solar storms, thunderstorms, and hurricanes have been frequent occurrences in nature. Each of these recurring natural occurrences is capable of doing significant harm. More than 40 asteroids have been seen coming near Earth, making them another frequent sighting. Well, another asteroid is currently on its way, according to NASA. A warning has been issued by NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office regarding an asteroid known as 2022 UG2. It is anticipated that the asteroid will pass Earth at a distance of only 621,000 kilometers. The speed of this asteroid is 31,140 kilometers per hour. A tiny shift in the asteroid's track caused by the contact with the Earth's gravitational field might send it hurtling into the globe with disastrous consequences. Asteroid 2022 SF-63 has drawn the attention of NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office. On October 19, 2022, the 32-foot-wide asteroid was predicted to pass Earth quite closely at a distance of 2.1 kilometers. At an outstanding 13,824 kilometers per hour, the asteroid was already heading in our direction. The Earth is not anticipated to be struck by this asteroid anytime soon, though. The asteroid 2022 UG2 was recently found on October 18th, 2022, and it is a member of the Apollo group. The asteroid completes its cycle around the Sun in 379 days, as reported by Sky.org. Throughout this orbit, the Sun is 185 million kilometers away at its furthest point and about 122 million kilometers away at its closest. The vast majority of these asteroids are monitored thanks to the NEOWISE project, which converted NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer into a survey telescope to look for near-Earth objects. The asteroid's trajectory and other details are then precisely determined using NASA's ground-based radar. Using the NEOWISE observations, NASA has so far created 18 sky maps. The 19th and 20th maps will be made public in March of 2023. These maps have allowed NASA's researchers to produce a time-lapse of the sky that illustrates how the positions of various celestial bodies have changed over the past 10 years. With this shift, researchers will be able to investigate how the positions and brightnesses of celestial objects have changed over the past 10 years, contributing to a deeper knowledge of our own universe. It's known as Time Domain Astronomy. Century 2, an algorithm developed by NASA, is used in a new impact monitoring system to determine the risk of near-Earth objects. NASA is also preparing to launch the NEO Surveyor mission in 2026 to collect even more detailed data using a new orbiter. Using this infrared data, the space agency can monitor the asteroid's orbital course and perhaps anticipate it years in advance. 
Currently, more than 28,000 near-Earth asteroids have been found using several survey telescopes that keep track of celestial objects. The Apollo group of asteroids, according to Sky.org, includes the asteroid 2022 UG. This asteroid travels around the Sun in 957 days, reaching a maximum distance of 430 million kilometers and a close distance of 139 million kilometers. NASA has the Lucy space mission to investigate asteroids outside the asteroid belt. On October 16, 2021, NASA launched the Lucy spacecraft from Cape Canaveral, Florida's Kennedy Space Center. According to NASA, this is the agency's first mission to investigate the Trojans, a collection of asteroids that orbit the Sun in two groups. It was designed to look for Trojan asteroids which are astronomically far from Earth. The Trojan asteroid hunting spacecraft recently found an asteroid named Polymele that had its own satellite, indicating that the mission is already showing promise. The Polymele satellite orbits the asteroid at a distance of around 200 kilometers and has a diameter of about 5 miles. At nearly 480 million miles from Earth, the asteroid itself is just about 17 miles in diameter. Initial studies of an asteroid known as 2021 AE suggested that it could collide with Earth on July 4th of 2023, leaving insufficient time for a deflection attempt and being large enough to cause significant damage to a nearby area if it did. Concerningly, depending on the initial seven days of studies, the likelihood of an impact seemed to rise, accompanied by a dramatic week in the dark as the full moon eclipsed the prospective impactor and prevented further inferences. The Near Earth Object Coordination Center, or NEOCC, of the ESA took another look when the moon moved out of the way as the skies began to grow darker. They discovered that the likelihood of an impact was rapidly decreasing. Since then, it has been established that the 2022 AE-1 won't collide with Earth as it has been taken off the ESA's list of potential risks. Asteroids larger than 460 feet 140 meters in size and with orbits that bring them within 4.6 million miles or 7.5 million kilometers of Earth's orbit around the Sun are considered to be these objects. CNEOS monitors every known near-Earth object on a regular basis to determine any potential impact danger. The Minor Planet Center, a well-known clearinghouse for small-body position measurements, provided the datasets for which the orbital positions of near-Earth objects are derived. This information is gathered by observatories all around the world, with significant assistance from amateur observers. And that concludes today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave us a like and tell us your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining us today. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and ring the bell icon to keep updated on all of our upcoming videos. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next video.